Hey everyone, welcome back to Crafting with JC, here for another fun and easy tutorial that you will love. Hope you are all having an awesome day so far. Let's get started. I bought a couple of these wooden hearts from Dollar Tree and for the first tutorial, I thought I would make something adorable for my niece. I'm going to paint the heart with Waverly Antique Wax and then immediately wipe it off with a damp cloth. So with a brush, I just paint that on, making sure to fully cover the heart. Okay, that ring light above the camera was really bothering me, so I just had to turn it off. Now with a damp rag, I immediately wipe off as much as I can. I just don't want the heart to be too dark. But if you want the wood to be a little bit darker, you can just leave on the wax a little longer and don't use a damp rag like I did. How pretty is that? I love this color. I'm gonna stick I love you on the heart. You can also paint that in with a stencil or if you are gifted in that way, which I am most certainly not, you can paint it on there directly. I embellished with flowers and this beautiful eucalyptus that I got from Walmart. I believe it was only $2 for a bouquet, so that was a really good deal. I just pluck out three from a stem and place it on the left side of the heart like so. And then I add these beautiful pink and white flowers that I got from Michaels, put the twine back on, and I was done. Or so I thought. After looking at it, I just felt that it needed a few more flowers, and then I was done. This sign is so adorable. I love the colors, the pink and the green and the wood. I absolutely love it. For the next one, it's the same exact process. I just apply the wax, wipe it off, then put I love you on the right side of the heart, and then I'm going to embellish with the same eucalyptus that I got that I used earlier, except this time I'm going to pull out two full stems from the bouquet. I hot glue on the side, like so, put this pretty flower in the center of it, and that's it. All done. Without a doubt, I love the way this turned out. Absolutely beautiful. If you want to make something similar but don't have the supplies, the wooden heart, I'm going to show you how to make a simplified version of it. And I'm certain you already have the supplies at home. You're going to need cardboard, decorative paper, and craft sticks, or something similar to hold the heart together. Also any paint to paint the craft sticks, though that's optional, and glue. I'm going to use Mod Podge, but you can use school glue as well. First, you'll need to make a stencil of a heart. To get a symmetrical heart, I always like to fold a paper in half and then draw half a heart on it. So just cut it out and there is your perfect heart. I get a ruler and start drawing lines to determine where I will divide the heart and the area that I will cut out. So this area I'm scribbling is a part that I will be cutting out. I'm not measuring exactly, I'm just kind of eyeballing it with a ruler. And then I do one more scribble section, and once I get the lines figured out, I start cutting. So here is my template. From here, just trace that on the cardstock and decorative paper, then cut it out. I'm going to use Mod Podge to adhere the decorative paper on the cardstock, but I'm not going to apply it on top. 
but if you want it to last, you can Mod Podge the whole thing, top and bottom. But if you do, make sure the surface the decorative paper is going on is smooth. Otherwise, there will be so many lumps and bumps from the cardboard. And one way to avoid that is to add a layer of cardstock underneath the paper. And that always works out well for me. So I apply a thin layer of Mod Podge and carefully place the paper on top. I take three craft sticks and apply a little color on it, a little bit of antique wax, then wipe off as much as I can. And then I'm going to hot glue that to the back. Just space it out the way you want and then glue it on. I'm sticking XOXO on there, but you can also just leave it blank and then decorate with flowers and greenery. Then get some twine and my hole puncher and punch two holes on the top, then string through the twine. If you want, you can take more twine and braid it to make it a little more thick. Line the outer part of the heart with that. But for this one, I'm done. I really love the way this turned out, especially when it didn't cost me anything. <laughs>